And there's 6,000. Okay. So, the story is about this young woman, a trapeze artist in the 1850s, 1860s, somewhere around that time, who went by the name of Lulu Farini. Uh, Lulu Farini is dying. Um, come on. Ow. Lulu Farini uh, was a trapeze artist in the 1650s, 1660s, who was pretty amazing in what she did. She would start on the ground and be launched up into the air to, to a waiting trapeze platform. Uh, that was how she got up there. Uh, right from the ground. Apparently it was like a prototype human cannonball thing. And, um... She did a really cool high wire act. And was the first to use a safety net. We need life. We need more life. First to use a safety net. Uh, she did all sorts of things, mostly... I think her big thing was riding a bicycle across the trapeze. Uh, she, she gained quite the cult following and oftentimes got lots and lots of marriage proposals. Uh, she really enjoyed photography as well, and there's quite a, quite a number of pictures of her, um, including some really cool ones where she's lifted up in the air by her trapeze hoists, I guess you could call them. Uh, so she's kind of floating in the pictures, although you can see the wires. Which, for 1870, is not bad at all. I really suck at this now that I'm telling stories. Um, then, uh, while she was in... where the heck was it? Dublin. Uh, oh, and she took a lot of pictures. Let's, I'm skipping ahead. And I'm just gonna get rid of this mosquito guy. Because he's pissing me off. Um, she did a high wire act, rode a bike across the thing, launched herself up, and I've said that like three times now. Um, I'm not as good a storyteller as Austin from Eggbusters, but that's okay. He does his thing. Anyways, uh, Lulu became incredibly popular over the years. To the point that she was getting marriage proposals and people constantly trying to, you know, marry her. And to be fair, she was kind of, kind of cute too, so... Uh, she politely turned all of them down, mainly because, you know, who wants the life of a circus act, constantly moving around the country? Almost there. And then, she goes to Dublin. goes to Dublin, launches herself on her tightrope, why? Launches herself up the tightrope and misses. She doesn't land correctly, which thankfully, like I said, she's the first person to use a safety net. But she kind of misses the safety net. Not in a way that, you know, she does hit it, but because of her trajectory, she hits it and with such force that it bounces her right back out of the safety net. 900 points. Bounces herself right out of the safety net. Ah. And she lands, uh, damaging her legs very badly. To the point that uh, she can't work for quite a while. Now, when she does damage her leg, not only does she damage her leg, but knocks herself out. Ow. So it knocks herself out, and being unable to wake up or anything, or help herself, uh, the authorities grab her, take her to the hospital where she is put on, put on the mend, and they take her to the woman's ward, fix her legs, 
the badly mangled story of Lulu Farini. Uh, they go to they take her to the to the women's ward at the hospital to fix her legs, only to find out that Lulu Farini is actually a guy by the name of Sam Wasgate, and is quickly put into the male ward, where he gets his legs fixed. Sam, with the jig being up, decides, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep doing the Lulu for anything, but people will know it's really me, and I don't care. Uh, I'm going to keep doing the trapeze to act as Lulu, and does for a few years, but not for much longer, because in his own words, I've got a mustache coming in, and I'm not nearly as pretty as I used to be. Which I thought was kind of cool. Ends up going to somewhere in Africa, just as the name escapes me right now. Uh, and takes up basically a life of photography. I had hoped, when I first found out about Lulu, and I've seen her pictures, her pictures are beautiful. Both of her and uh, Africa. There we go. Everyone died. Almost done. 300 more points. Um, both pictures of her and of her pictures of Africa were really wonderful. I'd hoped that she was trans. I really did. But apparently she was very much not trans and in fact was, like, gleefully enjoying the fact that she had fooled so many people for so long. Yeah, there we go. The end. That was the badly mangled story of Lulu Farini. I hope you've enjoyed it. Attack goes up. We are all max not really maxed out, but very close to maxed out, and that's where we want to be. Now we gotta die. <laughs>